All right. It's been a while since I've made a video. I've been taking a break from making videos for a while because I've been trying to process a lot of things and adjust to a lot of big changes in my life that have happened recently. And this video is my monthly reflection video for March of 2024. I know that this video is pretty late because it's almost May, but I decided that it was important for me to make this video anyways, despite it being late, because it will help me to transition into what I have planned next. And so I want to fill in the blanks for the period of time that I haven't uploaded for a while. So I'm going to do a summary of what went on in March and get a little bit into what has been happening this month. So in March, I finished my three-part video series, Overcoming Addictions to Worldly Pleasures by Practicing Moderation. When I had uploaded the last part of that series, I was near the beginning stages of going through a lot of major healthy changes in my life. And after I finished that series, I uploaded a video in which I talked about my ADHD diagnosis. And since I have started taking the medicine that I was prescribed and I've been able to process a lot of things that I hadn't been able to process for a long time. And I had also had to adjust to changes to my routine and I had to get used to the effects of my medicine and I had to stabilize. So I decided that while that was going on, that I was going to give myself a break from making videos for a while. So that's what I did. That is mainly why I haven't uploaded in a while. I was trying to be able to get in a better state of mind before I started making videos again. And so based on how well I've been doing recently with my mental health, I have decided that I want to make more videos again. And I think I'm ready for that. I don't know what exactly I'm going to upload yet, and I don't know when I'm going to upload, but I do want to upload more, and I believe that I now have the ability to do so. And I had difficulty for a long time with processing my emotions, and now that I'm able to process my emotions better, I'm able to get more enjoyment out of the good things. 
And so, as a result of that, the bad things don't weigh me as down much anymore. So that makes my life overall a lot easier than it was for a long time. And so, that has a lot to do with me now being more confident and believing that I can do more than I used to be able to do. And, of course, my memory has been improving. I mean, I still have issues, still have more things to learn about and work on, but I figured out that figured out that some of my physical problems are getting worse as far as ticks and parts of my body going numb and my brain not regulating certain things properly like my digestive system and my body temperatures and other things as well that I can't remember at the moment, but been trying to get help with those issues and uh, fortunately I'm having difficulty with that, but as far as how I'm coping with things, I'm doing a lot better in that way, and I feel a lot better, and overall I'd say I finally feel like a lot of times I can be at peace now, and for a long time I didn't feel that way, but now I finally can, and even though I still have my bad days, at least now the bad days don't have as much near they don't have nearly as much control over me as they used to so really grateful for that and i'm really grateful that i'm able to make this video and talk about this stuff because i thought it was important to update people about how i'm doing and I'm grateful for anybody that's helped me through this journey because I don't know if I, I don't know if I would have been able to have the good things that I have now if it wasn't for who ever has helped me. And anyways, that um thing I talked about about parts of my body being numb I uh, had that issue with my legs mainly, and I have difficulty walking sometimes. And uh, of course, I have back and neck pain and uh, shoulders hurting as well sometimes. But yeah, I have difficulties with walking, and um, they seem to be getting worse. And well, that's scary because I don't want to lose my ability to walk. I mean, who would want to lose their ability to walk? Anyways, um, that's one of the main issues I'm struggling with that I'm trying to get help for. And, uh, well, for the most part, the mental stuff is taken care of, I think. So, that's good. Um, fortunately, I had um, a lot of brain damage as a result of trauma that I didn't deal with properly for years and uh, that made me get stuck deep in my depression for most of my life and so that over time had damaged my brain and uh, seems that a part of the issues I still struggle with with both my mind and my body may have a lot to do with that. Uh, so, even though things in my past may still bother me and may still be able to have an effect on me, 
at least they don't have as much of an effect on me as they used to. So I'm grateful for that. And uh, now that I'm in a better state of mind, now that I'm feeling a lot better, and I'm a lot, uh, I have a lot more confidence, uh, I'm able to spend more time with my friends and family. I'm able to focus on them and be able to be a better version of myself so that I can help them. And I'm also able to be a better version of myself so that I can make more videos like this that uh, might be able to help people potentially. So uh, I'm really grateful for that. And uh, I just want to say I love you guys in the appropriate way. And that's it for this video. Peace.